Hello, this is Kyle Lind, along with Troy Lind. It is January 13th, 2014. We are back the alley in New Richmond, Quebec. We decided to take a day and, uh, well, an afternoon, really, and go snowshoeing in the woods. We are in an area with mostly birch trees around us and various others. And we decided to make camp here and start making a fire. That will be explained later. And we decided to use this dead tree, this fallen tree, to sit on and make our fire right there. Now, coincidentally, we have found chaga, the true tinder fungus, right here on the tree. Pure coincidence exactly what we were looking for and it was covered in snow mostly I cleared it off and we're ready to to cut it off and bring it home let it dry out then use it it's a significantly large piece we have a piece here here big chunk here and one in the back Troy just got his fire going, put a five birch logs down and put a bunch of twigs down and let's have him explain how he made his fire. Oh, I just uh, took a piece of birch bark and uh, scraped it up, got some uh, good shavings and I just lit it with a fire steel. And what kind of knife are you using? Uh, Fall Niven uh, F1. Are you satisfied with it? Oh yeah, good. Very good. And here is our little camp. And the chaga. Which we are glad, glad to have found. Oh, we're going to set up the Burton's right? Recently, Dad has discovered a man named uh, Morris Kochanski. He's from Polish descent, but he is Canadian. His family is from Polish descent. He is a, uh, a bushcraft expert. He's, he, is, he is the master out of all of them. There is a uh, sort of a stand that Kochanski discovered once upon a time called the Burtonsville Rig. He was on the uh, island of Burtonsville, I think. And the people there created this, which is a, a stand composed of two Y pieces of wood along with a, uh, a longer piece. Flat at the top with a little hole and a pole here with several notches. The notches kind of a V shape and the V the bottom of it goes into a little hole here may be difficult for you to see. And the, the idea behind this is to hang a pot a tea kettle like pot and hang it on the little notches at various heights depending on how high your fire is in order to boil water. Here we have Troy filling his pot with snow and in a moment we will see him hang the pot on the Burtonsville rig and allow this water to boil. He's got it right full, full of snow put the cover on. Now you see he he's hanging the pot on the lowest notch while well, here it is hanging on the Burtonsville rig. Now he's putting up one notch higher to be higher up. 
you can see how the pot, the handle is just hanging on to that little notch. There are different, here, here there are different notches. This one is hanging on. This one has to be level according to Moore's and a little dimple in the top. These have to be uh, V-notched, I think. It'd be nice to take a chorus from that man. Troy is quite fond of this man. Now, as you can see, you can move this and it will not fall. As long as there's not extremely high winds, that's the point. It can swivel. If it is windy, it will not fall. As long as it was as it's made correctly. And here's our camp. We're getting ready to heat up some water, have some to drink. Gonna have a hot brew. A hot brew. I'm having uh, chaga tea. We found some chaga. Kyle's going to have uh, something else. I'll have a hot chocolate little package that I brought. And that is it. Goodbye.